Bali, Tobias Chanji, KT News. Meanwhile, Deputy President William Ruto has asked his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta, to keep off his succession politics to avoid facing embarrassment if the Kenya Kwanzaa team forms the next government. Ruto, who led the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade in whistle stop rallies in Kasarani constituency, also said it was not time to change the constitution. This comes as the ANC and Ford Kenya parties denied reports that they were to win over 70% of votes in Western Kenya to get a stake in the Kenya Kwanzaa government. KTN's Emmanuel To was in the rally and filed the following report. Amen. For the second day running, the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade sought to get a share of the over 2 million votes in the country's capital. UDA. Deputy President William Ruto leading a host of other leaders as they painted Kasarani constituency yellow starting from Njiro, <laughs> Mweki and other parts of the city with a strong message to President Uhuru Kenyatta on managing his succession. <laughs> the deputy president saying it was not time to change the constitution and that the government that he is part of will first focus on reviving the economy <laughs> Nairobi inapata saidi ya milioni miya moja kila mwaka. Ninge uliza wa mama wa mwiki. Umeama ila pesa. Umeama ila pesa. Ruto's team has however come under fire over its power sharing deal that was akin to the proposals on building bridges initiative that unsuccessfully sought to change the constitution. NC boss Musalem Davadi and his Ford Kenya counterpart Moses Wetangula have refuted claims that they were required to deliver 70% of the total votes in the western region bloc. Kenya Kwanzaa also reiterated their plans to improve the livelihoods of the people at the bottom of the pyramid, promising to change the system in which government resources are distributed if they make it to power. <laughs> Deputy President William Ruto led his Kenya Kwanzaa team here in the capital, popularizing the bottom-up economics, promising to deliver six days victory in the August 9th general election that is only 87 days away. Emmanuel To, KT News, Mweki, Nairobi. Safina presidential candidate on Friday took his campaigns to President Uhuru Kenyatta's backyard in...